Hello, and welcome. I'm Xander, and here we are outside the Blue Palace in Solitude. Would you shut up, please? And we are going to go in here because I want to. Oh. Animations, you do weird things sometimes. We're going to go in here because I want to get started doing some stuff in Solitude, and. What's a better place to look for something to do in the Solitude area than to, you know, go to the Blue Palace and see if the, uh, the steward, the Earl Steward, has, uh, any work for us. Which, let's be honest, I know that he should, assuming that I haven't level screwed up again, but, eh, no, no, I think everything should be fine. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my... Your Eminence, room. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Yar Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. And rest easy. You're dismissed. Well, I guess who gets to take care of the cave? Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. I'm not talking to you. I don't care about you. Hey, Falk. Do you have business Falk with Firebeard? the Firebeard? Oh, come on. Talk to me. I am the Yarl Steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. I hear you're looking for some help you for Wolf Skull Cave. Bridge issue. I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. Right. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolf Skull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. Yeah. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Right, right. Uh, why is it called that? That's a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. Hmm. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Eh. I've seen ghosts. To me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. I mean, come on. The uh, cell that I broke out of at the very beginning of the game had ghosts in it, so... I have every reason to believe that ghosts exist in this game. And so, if that cave is haunted, it very well could be haunted. But, uh, weird happenings in a cave used by the Mad Queen Potema... Hmm. Sounds like more necromancy at work. Because if you're a necromancer and you know about that, eh, why not go there? Makes sense. The only problem is I believe this cave is off in the middle of nowhere. Need something? No. Get on my way. Yeah, the cave is up there. I guess it's not that bad. And we do have a horse. Uh, I don't care about the Dawn Guard at the moment. Please go away. So. I believe this is a good opportunity to test out my ability to deal with various things. There's two types of things in that cave. Because, obviously, I I've done a bunch of these quests before by now, so... Now, there's still a ton of quests I haven't done, because... Let's be honest, when the maximum level you've reached in the game is only about... 47? Ish? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have my original save at this point. But then again, I do have immersive creatures, so any number of crazy things could also show up during this. 
So we'll see what happens. But I have a general idea of what types of things every... Even if I haven't done a quest, a lot of the times they hint at it in the very beginning before you've even done anything. Which is kind of comical, I might add. We're going to hint at what's in here. But we have no idea what's in here. Oh, really? The horse audio glitching is kind of annoying. But, oh well. I have to live with it, I suppose. Uh, so I want to go. Oh no, I want to keep going this way and then take the road up by Dragon Bridge. This is good to know. The thing is, with immersive creatures. I, I never want to be at a point where I'm not recording when I'm going somewhere because obviously just about anything could at any time just pop up and try and eat me. So. Fun. What? Why does it look like there's a priest with the revelers? Oh, it's Mike. Well, I suppose we can have a talk with Mike. I'd rather have two bottles of mead than two wenches, friend. Some like the hey, friend. Mike, ah, go away. Right, this is my about splitting treasure. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Don't try blocking if you have two weapons. You will only get confused. Much better to hit twice anyway. <laughs> Mike is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Stupid reveller. A horrible person. Ruining my conversations with my eek. Missed one of the things he said, which makes me really sad. Cave is so far away. Real bandit. feeling this is a bandit, but we're going to get off the horse and have a look-see anyhow. Alright, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Yes, I'm not going to ask again. Then I guess that's your last request, fool. Idiot. Lockpick, gold, garnet. Well then. Horse, I realize I just got in the combat with that thief, but what are you doing? Seriously. Now what wants to mess with me? Well, this is the cave. Oh. Ow. Ow. Yeah. <sighs> Reviving skeleton. It's a 40% chance for them to revive, which means that you'd think out of two skeletons, only one should revive. But no, they almost always revive. Video game logic. 25% is more closer to 50%. And like, 40 to 50% functions more like 80%. They just love video game logic. Okay, so there are skeletons outside. So there's already some kind of necromancy going on here. Can't see a damn thing. You know, there's no point in sneaking if I'm doing that. 
Okay, pickaxe. That was better sources of iron, to be honest. So I'll leave it. Draugr. What are you doing? Now, I'm curious as to whether or not Draugr weapons and Draugr armor can be melted down. Yes, I'll find out. Hmm. Oh, that's a dead end. Well then, that answers the question of which direction do I go. God, do I hate frost magic. Oh, I'm assuming it was the other necromancer reviving you. What is my candlelight bound to? Six. Ow. Oh. Holy crap, that's an apprentice necromancer. Did I just smash it to pieces? With my shield? Okay. Come out here. I don't want to fight you in a tunnel. Don't be difficult. Come on. Really? You're gonna back up? What are you gonna do if I back up? Holy crap, this is a Draugr White. Ow. You know what, fine. It's gonna stand there cast on me. I'm going to attack it. Hunter Flame Atronach. Hmm. 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 Wow, it costs 112 mana. Which basically means that I could I could conjure it, technically. Do I want to, though? That might be fun to do at once. Oop. Oh, come now. Sure, there's a way down where I'll be able to get back up. Actually, I'm not sure that there is. The thing is, I'm concerned about going down because if I do. I mean, I've already encountered a Draugr White, which leaves me a bit concerned, to say the least. If you know what I mean. I'm gonna spell some courage. Hey. There was more necromancers. Oh, here's one. I don't know if I have a necromancer cloak, so I'm taking it. Where is the last one? What? I'm confused. I lost track of the other body already. What is this? Did it like fall through the ground? Oh no. What the heck are you doing up there? You know what? I don't want to know. I really do not want to know. Okay, I suppose 
I really want to try out Conjure Flame at Chinook. I really don't want to go down here, because if I go down here, I could end up in an infinite loop of dying and having to come back. Yes, I'm sneaking with a candle light out. What of it? Two wolf skull ruins. Glorious. Because this can clearly end well. Wasn't that just spectacular? So this is a bit silly. And I'm actually going to want to go into first person view to have any chance of pulling this off. I missed. I missed. Where's my bolt going? You know what? Fine. We'll shoot at something else. This is giving me archery and sneak levels at a hyper fast rate. Okay. Yeah. They're dying fairly quickly, which is good. The fact that I'm actually able to sneak attack kill them implies that maybe they're not as difficult I was as previously worried they would be. There's a chance that white might have been more or less a fluke. Or maybe the crossbow is just stupidly strong. I really wish I could see where my crossbow bolts were going. Ah, screw it. I'm wasting way too many trying to kill them. Is there anything else? Okay, seriously? Oh. That was a real thing. Curious. Is he gonna stand back up? Whoops. I wanna know why I can't seemingly hit them. They didn't move from that. Oh no, they did move. They're running to the other side, which implies that it flew over. Oh, there we go. Oh, why are you standing behind the battlement? Walk out where I can see you. Please. That's ah, screw it. Missed. Screw it. See movement. And it's dead. Where am I gonna get bolts from? I just realized that... I'm burning through bolts very quickly in a situation where I probably don't need to. Crap. Okay. That's enough of those.
Uh, how am I supposed to get down from here? In normal fashion. How was I supposed to get here in a normal fashion? I'm going to assume through here. Well, what's potion now? Who knows what could be around the next corner? Hmm. From looks of it, things I already conveniently killed. That was a regular Draugr. Which is always good to know. Okay. I didn't go to the top of the tower, but... Honestly, a bunch of skeletons. Probably don't have anything. That's the one problem with fighting necromancers and skeletons and Draugr. They normally don't really have much. The biggest loot you're probably going to get is out of the end chest. Okay. If I get my sneak up high enough, I'll eventually gain access to the silent roll, and that'll be really fun. I like silent roll. Oh, crap. Whew. The, the thing is, if I hadn't have thinned out the horde, as it were, a bit, before I had started this, this could have ended poorly. Very poorly. I still have seven flasks. Let's use one. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. Ow. What, you don't want to come through the door? Death awaits you. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Go ahead, Flame Antronach. Have fun. you. What are you? A wolf? Spectral wolf? Have fun. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Blame at or not. Get in there and attack them, Flame at or not. Why are you running away? Fine. Ow. Really? Okay. Very good. I know they're just gonna revive it again. That's the problem with necromancers. Get dead it. Whew. 
Well, that's ominous. It's a scuppy. You know, if there's anybody worth searching, it's probably the Ritual Master. To be honest. And even then, they're probably not worth searching. Ooh, I think I see a skill book. Yeah, they actually had less than the normal Necromancer. The Refugees! Is that a weird angle? Huh. Uh... You know what? Candlelight. Make sure there's nothing else around up here. Nope. Flick the lever. Here's our spoils. The spoils of war. Gold. Go to arm. You know what? I'll see if I can't break down the steel boots for stealing it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's it, though. Really? Seems a bit lame, to be honest. Uh, where are we? Does that go outside? Oh, seriously, where am I? I have no idea where inside this cave I just popped out, but... Somehow the, uh... Okay, fine. Fine! Fine! This is not where I came in, is it? It apparently is, but I feel like this is sorcery. Because, based on, well, yeah, based on how far I went down, and considering the fact that I only went up a little bit, and then after I went up, I went down, I feel like the geometry of that dungeon did not make any sense, but, meh, probably overthinking it if that's the case. So instead, let's just make our way back to Solitude and tell Falk that uh, we found bad things. Ah, uh, Meridia. Meridia is another one of the quests that I want to do. But... I can't. Because you have to be level 12. Like a lot of the Daedric quests, apparently. Which is unpleasant. And horribly restricting. Then again, I think normally level 12 would be something you would attain much, much faster. You know what I could do? Theoretically. What I could do is I could rent an in room and rest in it. And that gives you a small experience bonus. And then capitalize that on top of the fact that I have the lover stone selected. And... Okay. I don't know what's causing that now. I honestly have no idea. Oh well. Whatever. <laughs> Epileptic seizure warning on the uh, carts, apparently. But uh, we'll go in here, we'll tell Folk what happened, and then uh, that'll put us at a Pretty much the best ending spot. That got a bit buggy. Also, I believe I'm ready to level up, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm assuming I am, considering I got like a billion and a half levels from sniping people from Sneak. I wonder... I think Silent Rolling's like 30 Sneak, maybe? Possibly. Hmm. That is a question. We'll have to figure that out. Maybe. 
We'll figure it out whenever we check to see whether or not we actually have a level up. That's the, uh, that's the plan anyhow. Okay, Blue Palace, here we come. I'm not gonna lie, the animations mod is a bit buggy. I'm almost wondering if it's not just overkill to have it enabled on anything other than potions. Because looting corpses. It makes them a bit obnoxious. Uh, harvesting... Just... Lockpicking... Door... Ah, screw it. And... If you guys don't like me turning it off, well, chances are by the time I upload this, it'll, I'll have a metric ton of footage, so... What did you it might be a while before I find that out. Game. What's Some necromancers were attempting to summon and Please bind Fudema. You stop them. They're dead. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Fudema. I shudder at the thought. That bad, huh? So, now, in theory, we should go find the crazy man. Hopefully he shouldn't be that hard to find. He should just be strolling around within the, how should I say, rich part of the city. Another thing about it, it doesn't really have a slum section of the city, does it? Hmm, curious. Very curious. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I don't know why I'm so tired. I've been sleeping a lot the past few days. It's just been... I've just been really tired. So. Uh. And we'll look for Psycho Man. In the next time around. Unless we happen to run into him on the way up, but I'm pretty sure he stays in that section of the district. That section of the district. That section of the town. In the meantime, we are going to have a little sit down. We fill our Estus flasks. Check our skills to see if we get a level up, which we did. Good. Ooh, and another one. Ooh, that makes me level 12. I like. Sneak. Muffled movement is 30. That's 30. Silent roll is 50. Okay. That'll make sneaking a little bit better. You know, lock picking is slowly increasing. Slowly. It's not really necessary, to be honest. With basically the uh, anything I guess Durns. yeah we'll just keep leveling those so that should have given us I think roughly 30 hit points between the two levels in theory I think uh, yes actually it did our stamina went up some our health went up quite a bit, and our magicka has not moved, which is to be expected. That said, things are reducing in price, apparently. Not price, cost. Casting costs. This crossbow is incredibly strong. I'm not sure how I feel about that compared to the bows. But we got a new cloak. Necromancer. Probably not a good idea to be wearing that in the middle of town. That might upset some people. And again, technically the Force Forlorn cloak could as well, so... Yeah. 
So the next time we do a dungeon, there's the high possibility of finding Meridia's Beacon. Uh, technically, if we go on the road now, we should be able to possibly find an afflicted refugee, which will point us to Payright Shrine. Which I have looked into what we need for that, and it's we'll need a silver ingot, a flawless ruby, which we don't have. Uh, vampire dust, and I forget what the last thing is. I'll probably look it up again. Oh, 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 we're going not where I want to be. And before you question what we're doing, considering I was going to end. I just want to quick check and see if Radiant Raiment has an amulet of Archaic, because I'd like to try and build up a stockpile of them while available. Uh, Radiant Raiment. What time is it in the game? That's eh, six. So there should be plenty open still. That's a theory, anyhow. Oh, hello. I don't care about you. I care about the one that's actually going to sell stuff to me. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Oh? Uh... You get a lot of business Radiant like that. Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Let's see if we what can find an outfit wench. that suits you. Akatosh. Debella. Still no RK. Disappointing. To be honest. I'm not really 100% sure. Ooh. Expensive. But nice. Ooh. Hmm. Eh. Finally. Nothing interesting with you. Do you actually sell things? You. Why hello, here to buy. If you have to ask the price, you might be in the wrong store. Do you always insult it's people when you insult, meet them? Just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire is concerned. Well, if I saw you walking around with a wound, I'd assume that you'd already known it, and that you should go see a doctor, and that I shouldn't have to tell you something so bloody obvious. So, uh, maybe you shouldn't be an asshole. Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should see what we have available. Uh-huh. You're really going to the Blue Palace. If you're I'll be back there eventually. To wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Fine, fine. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant fine. Raymond. Fine. I'm sure you've noticed I'm not really big into the whole fine outfits thing. I actually came here looking for an amulet of RK, but... Whatever. Although, I probably won't be going back to the Blue Palace until... Hmm. Is there some gold for a veteran? Hey, maybe next time. Not to you. I uh, might as well Can give him a coin. A oh, thank you. There you go. Have the fun. Vines bless your kind heart. I wish only you look odd. And enroll with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. Okay, so, I'm going to go save at the bonfire, but before I actually save, I shall send us off. Let's have a little rest to do the outro. Well then, I'm going to call this good. I really wish that wasn't in my face. What are you going to do? Oh, there we go. I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.